Bodybuilding in essence isn't actually really healthy. It is literally a glamorized eating disorder. Can you actually sit at the end of the day and go, that was worth it? Yes. I define my body, I guess, as a, a bit of a dad bod. It's basically anybody who still has some muscle mass, but also has a bit of fluff on them. Yes, we're active, but we also enjoy life as well. How would I define my body? A reflection of my work ethic. A lot goes into crafting a physique, especially at the competitive level. There's this massive misconception that it's for other people, and it's like, look at me, but it, it's, it's very much my thing for me. The 15-year-old lad I once was, who was told in school that he was disgustingly skinny, proving to himself that I, I can achieve that. It's more of a personal thing than anything else. Me growing up as a bigger guy stood out like a sore thumb. I'm six foot six. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, wide. I've lost a significant amount of weight in, okay, in, yeah, in the recent enough. years. As someone like you in that moment, to me, would represent kind of like that must be the epitome of male dominance. I would almost now understand that it could be the other way around, that actually now, according to the female gaze of the, the attention I get, now I am more attractive and don't need to push as far. Yeah, yeah. Fair in order enough. to attract fair. the sort of people that I wanted to attract, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I am mindful of what yeah, I eat, yeah. but I don't micromanage every single nutrient. It's yeah. just almost balance at all, balance, at all moments, balance. you know, and I just enjoy a bit of it all, really. A bit of fitness and a bit of fun. I am just under eight weeks out from competing, so six to eight meals a day, low calories, high protein, clean carbs. We're going to be running at about four to five litres of water a day, a lot of caffeine. It's obsessive to the point where it is literally a glamorised eating disorder. Yeah, yeah. I know a few professionals and it is all consuming. You're constantly hungry, but that is essentially the goal anyway. So how often do you go to the gym? At least five days a week. How long do you spend in the gym each time? 90 minutes. 90 minutes, okay. Yeah. That almost sounds like a job. It can be a ball ache, it can, yeah. but you know, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And you find before long, it's second nature. I'm not gonna complain about it because I, ch I chose it. Yeah. I did a post on my TikTok referring to a headline in the newspaper. Ditch the six pack and grab a beer, boys, because women prefer to sleep with men with dad bods. And it's like, oh, it's kind of irresponsible for sort of, especially mainstream media, to justify poor lifestyle choices. I agree that there is, there is absolutely an, an, an issue with obesity. While I don't necessarily think that the dad bod term is something I necessarily like, it can actually represent the normal real day-to-day -day man yeah, who yeah. does have an extreme work ethic, who does, you know, support a family, who does oh, have yeah, a really definitely. important job. And also, maybe there's a bit more life satisfaction. Maybe, I, I know you love what you do, but to me, that just sounds so like insular. And Restrictive. So... The main issue would be missing out on time with my little girl. There are often times when I have to get my mum and dad to look after my little girl, because I'm in from work and straight to the gym. And so you're essentially burning the candle at both ends. The amount of things that you're potentially missing out on. Yeah. That, can you actually sit at the end of the day and go, that was worth it? Uh, yes. In life, you, you need an element of selfishness. All the sort of stresses and sort of pitfalls of life, just fizzle away and it's just me and it's the weights. It gives me that element of life that is just mine. I grew up a really insecure kid. And yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I dealt with it through therapy and I dealt with it through building my emotional intelligence and, and from trying to understand the way, why I felt the way I did. And I, I tried the gym route and it was really, really great for me and, and it had great physical benefits, but mentally I was still in that route. But it's such a bigger world out there that you, you're missing out on because of the amount of sacrifices you're having to make. I believe the gym has had a profoundly positive effect on my life. Fighting off the mental demons, there is a massive element of sort of, maybe I go as far to say masochism, without the sexual edge. <laughs> it's brought me out of my shell massively. I think it could potentially have that similar effect on someone else. I was pretty shocked to hear about how much time he's given up with family, with, the, with his own daughter. I think what he's doing right now is obviously serving him well, but I think in the long run it's not sustainable and I, I hope that I've, I've managed to open his eyes to that. Ben hasn't 100% persuaded me. I love the lifestyle that I live at the moment, but give it 10 years, reassess the situation. I would definitely rather be a dad bod just because it gives me more balance in life. I would rather be a gym rat because of my love for my lifestyle.